Hey guys, to Legit City here. Today in the game of Auction Not Included, we're going to be talking about a uh, design slash concept that allows your duplicates to uh, navigate the rockets in the star map without the use of a rocket pilot. Of course, that means today's video, we're going to be going over the uh, pilotless rocket concept and or design. Now, the design is as really shown. All you need is a Trailblazer module on top of a rocket engine. And then whatever you're going to be using the rocket for, you need to suit it up so that it's tailored made for the job. So in our case, we're going to be showing you today some of the applications that I found. That's going to be the artifact transport module, drill coning, and of course, a little bit of the cartographic module. There is probably much more use for this design. However, we're just going to be going over some of the concepts that actually seem like it's designed for as these jobs are very tedious and because of the nature of its job, it's just very time consuming. Now, the first rocket we'll go over, it's going to be the artifact transport module. As you might see, we're using the solar space for a nose cone for this specific build and that's because in your rocket design you're always going to want to use this unless you have a specified nose cone you have to dedicate toward in our case the drogue cone over here is going to be the nose cone of choice so we only have the option of the space for a module for this rocket however in the artifact transport module all we really need is the artifact transports and because of that we can make a rocket engine made to specifically grab artifacts in our case we just need a trailblazer module to release the pilot and of course the artifact transport modules and the idea is as shown we're going to launch the rocket the moment we're in the star map, we're going to go to this tile immediately next to the starter asteroid, immediately trailblazer module back onto the planet, and then have our rocket go to the points of interest that we want to navigate to. Once we get to that, we could grab the artifacts. As you could see right here, the points of interest all have artifacts tied to it. Now, why would you want artifacts? That's because there is an achievement where you need to grab 10 terrestrial and 10 space artifacts for you to technically fulfill the objective for the printing pod, having one of the three cutscenes that's going to be available to you. Now, of course, terrestrial artifacts are the artifacts inside the planets or asteroids, whereas the space artifacts are taken from the point of interest. That being said, that means you have to hit up 10 different points of interest as you need to have 10 unique space artifacts and any of the artifacts in the point of interest is considered a space artifact. That's a couple of trips you have to make. And depending on if you find clusters or not, you might have to make fewer or more trips. If you just have more of these isolated points of interest, you might not be happy as that means you're going to have to make more rocket trips. That being said, with all those trips, you don't need a pilot. You could actually just fly on top of the point of interest with your rocket, and as long as it has the module, it will pick up the artifact, and then you could just navigate the rocket home by clicking on it, clicking change, and going back to the planets. That's going to be the major benefit for the design, since you may be running into the issue of not having the specific space food, not enough oxygen, maybe you can't manage the morale, maybe you don't have a good setup, maybe you don't have a lot of rocket pilots. Regardless of what the situation may be, there's a lot of different instances and different examples of why you might not want to send the dupe out. By having a pilotless rocket concept, this means that you could do this now. Since you're not going to have to dedicate a dupe to do the task, and because the task is time consuming, this means that you don't have to do a lot of the prep work in order to have your duplicate be safe on the journey. The second thing that comes to mind is also the Drocone rocket. Similar in how it has to fly out to the point of interest, and of course, not only that, there is an achievement tied to this as well. The Drocone rocket has an achievement called Mine the Gap, where you have to mine a million kilograms from the space points of interest, assuming maximum efficiency, meaning that you're able to store everything and use up all the diamond. You have to make 50 separate trips as that means you're going to have to launch a rocket 50 times and depending on if you're able to store all the materials or not it's going to be more sometimes as i can't always guarantee a full excavation on every trip sometimes the point of interest runs out of materials and needs to regenerate sometimes i'm not able to store some of the materials because i don't have the right cargo type either way it's going to be a lot of space trips so having a pilot list rocket do this with a rocket design like this means that i could have more drill cone rockets launched go do the mining for the achievement and it doesn't have to take as long as i could have more rockets now now the last rocket is going to be the cartographic module that allows you to scout on the space tiles we'll actually have a video that goes more in depth on how you want to do that however in the nutshell when you have your cartographic module rocket out in space what actually happens is that since the cartographic module allows you to venture off into the unexplored tiles and reveal the tile that your rocket's on it actually effectively pushes back the veil 
of the full fog. The half fog tiles right here already give you an idea of where the objects are, so you can utilize this as a way of finding where the points of interest are and drive straight to it. Now, of course, because you don't have the range, you're not able to just be close by and then happen to scan it. However, by having control your rocket and you could actually choose to navigate directly there, this makes for a more efficient scanning process. As if you had a telescope scanner in here, what actually what happened is, is that you kind of randomly scan anyways with some of the closest tiles being scanned first. And because you don't have control over that, you're going to have to stay in space for a little while longer meaning that you're going to have your duplicates in there kind of just chilling. Maybe your rocket pilot's not doing anything while your astronomer is doing the scanning. Now, with the cartographic module, you could actually see exactly where the objects are and fly directly to it, which is the main advantage of the module. Of course, that's only if you want to take this method. If you guys don't, it's perfectly fine, as this is a more if you care about efficiency. Now, I'm part of the type that likes to just reveal the entire map, so in most cases I'm just going to want to come in a telescope myself, but the option is there if you care about the efficiency. Now of course, with these pilotless rockets, you're only able to do things that do not require duplicate operation. Of course, that means you're not going to be able to take use of the telescope, of course, and do things inside of the rocket. So some of the things that you guys have to do in the uh, rocketry may not be possible. Now that being said, let's actually show you guys how it's going to look like when we do the example run. And we're going to do it with a Drogon rocket to show you exactly how the process would look like. Alright, so here is going to be an example launch. This is going to be your Drogon rocket of choice. And all you're going to want to do is click change. From here, you're going to want to go up one tile outside into the purple ring anywhere. I'm just going to go to the left tile. And by doing that, we're going to click crew and then begin launch sequence. My duplicate's already inside, so there's the launch. Now, this is going to be just like any rocket launch, nothing special about this. And we have liftoff. Now, in the star map, we could see that our rocket's right outside. Click on it, click on the duplicates, and then, of course, deploy. You're going to want to land somewhere on your home asteroid that you have access to. And the moment you do that, you see the... There it is, the Trailblazer module coming out. You could actually start navigating already. So by clicking on this, clicking on change, we can navigate to a point of interest to start droconing. Now, of course, this does mean that your rocket ship is going to take a little bit longer as if there's no pilot with a piloting skill, there is no decrease in travel time that you get for having a high pilot skilled dupe. So it's going to be a little bit of a long period, but it does mean that, you know, it's happening in the background. You don't have to worry about it. But... That means you successfully launch your pilot of the ship. If you guys are wondering, yes, you can navigate it back and park it back on the planet without a duplicate. You only need a duplicate to do the initial liftoff, after which it doesn't matter anymore. And you could literally just have your rocket navigate using the autopilot feature. But guys, if you guys have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.